Newtown technology to alter your brain waves and mental state. Kelly Johnson is a parent and teacher and had never even heard of eye dosing or oh, digital no. drugs until now. It's just scary, definitely scary, uh, to know that, you know, just one more thing, <laughs> one more thing to look out for. Recently, Mustang Public School sent out a letter warning parents about the new trend after several high school students reported having physiological effects after trying one of these digital downloads. Students and graduates are still talking about it. Oh, I heard it was like some weird like demons and stuff through a iPod or something and he was just freaking out. People should be concerned about it. It's not saying that it should just be overlooked. We have never come across anything like this. Nope. And anything that is going to cause these physiological effects in a student, that causes us concern. Mustang schools are doing what they can to put a stop to it, including cracking down on the use of cell phones and other technology while on cell campus. To be vigilant, and we ask that the parents, you need to be vigilant too. And the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics tells us that parental awareness is the key to preventing future problems, since eye dosing could very well indicate a willingness to experiment with drugs. So that's why we want parents to be aware of what sites their kids are visiting and not just dismiss this as just something harmless on the computer. If you want to reach these kids and save these kids, and keep these kids safe, parents have to be aware and they've got to take action. Now another concern OBN has is that many of these eye-dosing websites lure visitors to actual drug and drug paraphernalia sites. So actual Kelly, this is yet drug. another reason why parents really need to be proactive and not only talk to their kids, but check what they're downloading. Parents just cannot let the gorge down at all, can they? So uh, all of a sudden all of this showed up. So let's cook drugs for a while now. It's still legal. You never know when it'll go away though, so... All right, let's pull up some of the software here, and Ganoral. Now, the easiest way to start to work with Ganoral is to take what they have and then cut it down so it fits what you really want, um, your way of doing it. And notice here is the actual, here's the screen we looked at. And it's, oh, I mean, this one's the easy. You just drag it around whatever frequencies you want. Okay, I want this one, I want that one. Notice how they put the, this is the sample, little bumps in here to bring you around. Frequency, we start at one frequency. Your ear, here's how the whole thing easily works. If I put 500 hertz in one ear, if I put 510 hertz in the other ear, your ears cancel the 500 hertz. You're left with that 10 hertz sound. Okay, now, how big a sonic tuba are you gonna make, need to make a 10 hertz sound? I mean, you got speakers like horse big. So that's why this is a better way of doing it. You can plug almost any frequency in there, pick the second uh, embedded frequency. I always embed mine in pink noise. Remember, dirty white noise is pink noise. So you really don't even notice it. So the, it just plays out. I'll give you a real quick, hello audio guy. I'll give you a real quick sample of what they sound like. It's really pretty stupid. I know. Notice how the volume then goes up near the end and the balance, sometimes you can rotate the balance through, uh, there's one of them, you can rotate the balance so it like basically spins and some of the ones, I samples I put on your disc, get them out, play with them. This program, as I said, has been around for floppy days and it's actually pretty nice. It runs well. I tried to get a hold of the author and say, hey, come on out to DEF CON. It's like, this website and this, uh, everything has been closed, everything. You can, you can still get it, but there's no way of getting a hold of them. So, All right, so basically you just figure it out, what frequency you want, work it in here, and then you can save them. You can then export them out, uh, yeah, export the audio file, and then you can pick what you want. They've got a variety of them. I tend to pick on uh, Microsoft because, I don't know, I can, I guess. So they're an easy target. So you can pick basically any type of thing you want. Oh, look, I can use it on my next computer. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like those old things. So you just export it out and basically to whatever you want. So this is the first part of it. This is the first part, okay? Figure out how long you want, what frequency, what desired re result you want. Create this stream here, the psychosonic stream here. Pull the little things up and down. 
I can do that. Okay. So you've created it, you've saved it off. And that's the first part. That's all there is gently for that. Audacity is the second one. I think, uh, oh yeah, here's the, now here's what poker face looks like with, uh, pulled in through Audacity. So you notice I can easily hide the frequencies inside of here. Now the ones I've put on your disc, I've made them just a hair louder than normal. So you can actually hear when you inject, like a test thing. So you can hear when you inject them. So they actually work, okay? So this is basically, I figured Poker Face was the best one for Vegas. I mean, what do you want? I mean, now, are you going to notice like 12 hertz in that? No, no, because it's already got the booming bass. It covers it right over. Don't even sense it. Here's a better use for it. Okay, here really is a better use. Instead of making yourself weird, crazy, and like, and demon faces coming out of your MP3 players, <laughs> I have a jogging tape that I use, and I, I cycle it through that. I have uh, a aha moments that I use for uh, contemplating before I go for an exam, or before I have to talk to my in-laws, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've created these over the years, and they, they really do work, some of the positive ones. Now, that leads us to the philosophy, to the, to the psychic drug side work, and no, they are not the acid. I wish I'd saved my $3 and bought a Corona or something. Well, not in Vegas, but I, I, I would have got a better buzz off of it. You want to laugh, go to YouTube. What percent is believing you're going to get high and actually getting high? If you believe it, I mean, okay, we used to scrape banana peels and smoke them. I know, that sounds weird, but that was a 70s thing. Several frogs are like, frogs, fucking really old guys. So, several frogs that, yeah, and you know what? We got high from these scrapes, but no, we just thought we did. So here again, it's subliminal messaging. Oh, this stuff really works. The news is reinforcing it works. You damn well know every kid who watched that news report yeah, yeah. What? Hey, let's tell them how to do it and what the web is. Uh, I dash uh, doser.com. Yeah, okay, so, um, and notice that this one, you can bury it in with no problem. I really like this one. Now, you can do a lot with these. The problem is who, th there's not been much current research on it. We really brought them in. We uh, used them back in the 70s, because that's the way the 70s were. And we used everything back then. And, but now I see an actual use for these things. Thank you, sir. So uh, let's see, what else? Oh, let's finish this part up. And here's what I want to challenge you all with. One, create some of these type things. Email me. My email's on there. Email me, and I'm collecting them, and I'll give you credit for it. As in, hey, that's really nice. Okay? So create some. Uh, these are all the really great, uh, the examples from Yale.edu. Oh, yeah, they have great examples to download. They, they actually do research on this stuff. So anybody from Yale, thank you very much for making my job easier. Uh, let's see. Unexplainable.net. Those are where you can get the ones that will do like the acid and stuff like this. Now, I have committed one error because I left my sonic nauseator in the room. They're called brown frequencies. <laughs> and they were supposed to sit right here, several people I wasn't going to tell. And it actually works. It puts out frequency. So to make up for it, I'll get it, and I'll be playing it in different places over the next couple days. So. <laughs> So if you see me in the room, you may not want to. They're called brown frequencies for a reason, too. And I thought, oh, what happens when a whole bunch of people get up and leave? In our experiments with it, I, I'm, I'm a frog. I had trouble hearing it. But my young staff, they're like, oh, what's that noise? It's like, and then I made myself sick. I couldn't go to a party. And my wife was like, what did you do to us? Yeah. So we've tried it in restaurants, things like that. <laughs> 
the legislature in Montana is starting soon. I could not think. I mean, if I can keep the politicians distracted, what damage can they do then? Oh, I feel nauseated. So I, I tend to like those type things. Uh, OK, where do you buy things like that? Well, you know where you buy those, eBay. Everything you want in the world's on eBay. So pictures of people on toast and stuff. They're like 29 bucks, and I, I, I'll have it with me the rest of the time. So if you see me, we'll plug it in, and we'll just stand somewhere and watch, OK? <laughs> Um, let's see, other things. Now, the binaural and the ganaural are very, very easy to use. Download them. They're back when we used to write manuals and made sense and stuff, so you can actually read them and follow along. They are both binaural. It's very, very easy to use, and there's tons of examples out there for it. Uh, or ganaural, uh, we'll do that. Now, uh, Audacity, if you are into sounds, Audacity is your, how many people are using Audacity? Look around this room. Look around. It's like, whoa, yeah. Wish I had the commission from nothing, but that's OK. It's a great program. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, let's talk about what we've been through here real quick. Tones affect you, period. They affect you, whether they're loud tones at certain frequencies, whether they're soft tones speaking inside your head, telling you to do stuff, disrupt the town meeting. Um, let's see. Lower tones sync with your moods, and we have known this forever, that certain alpha, beta, delta, theta waves in your brain produce a certain frequency. That frequency, those frequencies, are what we're trying to get injected. Try some test ones. I recommend some of the more gentle ones because you're going to waste your time making acid-type cooking. It's not going to work for you. So try some of the other ones. I like the airplane one. Works really well. Put on the buds. Wake up when I'm there. I'm like, excellent stuff. Uh, let's see. The longer ones, usually 30 minutes, 30 minute ones. Those are the longer ones. They're, they tend to work better. They always say, a dark room, cover your eyes. And, and, and they say, like to lay down, because if you cover your eyes, you won't freak out. And the demons won't come out or something. Like I'm still working on that part. Uh, and when you watch them on YouTube, they all tend to be covered or blang or something like that. Um, and as I said, there's tons of samples. Current work I'm doing on all these things, how do we know other current songs aren't using this? How do we know? Trust but verify. Oh, yeah, they fixed that map hole patch he broke into at CanSec. Not. So this is the current. Vegas uses it. I'm trying to get my sonic nauseator to work on the phone. So when they call you up or you're working help desk or something, you can like. <laughs> I'll let you know if that works too. Hey, uh, I got a hang up for I'm feeling. Yeah, so I'm into that one. And uh, my email's coming up. Thank you, sir. My email's coming up. Uh, feel free to email me. I am, I am absorbed by all of the head hacking type stuff. If you are not using uh, reading uh, social-engineer.org, you're missing the easiest attack vector. If you are not doing these, yeah, it's a pretty easy. The last thing in the research, OK, being a nurse, I've worked a lot of intensive cares. People get cranky. Are the machines in your environment putting out these frequencies without you knowing it? I mean, think about your work environment. Do you have any machines that make noise? Has anybody ever walked around and measured them? Do you ever work in an office where everybody is cranky as hell? Well, never mind. That's not a good one. Everybody's never. <laughs> so, you know, think about these. I challenge you. I'm here next year. I've been here for years. So when I'm here next year, the nurse come up to me say, dude, it was really sucky. It didn't work. Or it was great. And my mom let me get a car or something. So, you know, <laughs> use these. Uh, here I am. Um, uh, the nurse, cyber infosec, that's pretty easy stuff, isn't it? I appreciate everybody coming out. I appreciate you listening. People actually paid attention. Nobody was asleep. Damn. So try these. Let me know next year. And psychosonics rule, y'all.